Hello everybody and uh, welcome to my third Access 2013 tutorial. Um, this tutorial is going to show you how you uh, set up a primary key and what it's used for. Um, and it's probably going to leak into the next tutorial as well when I go into table relationships. Um, but first of all, so a primary key is something in your table that is unique. Um, so you can't have more than one of it. Um, so if we look at our table, we wouldn't choose city because people can have the same city. We didn't, wouldn't choose birth date uh, because people can have the same birth date. We definitely wouldn't choose cake because pretty much everyone loves cake. Um, and we wouldn't do the notes because you might have the same information in the notes. We also wouldn't use name because people have the same name. Um, and the amount of people that try and use name as a unique reference uh, is a big frustration. Um, so don't use name. People have the same names. Um, and so the only thing I've got in this table is my user ID. Um, so let's say I want to set this up as my primary key. Uh, we need to go into our design view. Um, and then on the side here, we just select the field we want to be our primary key, right click on it and then click on this primary key sign. And I'll put this little key here uh, and you can unpress it to get rid of the primary key again. Um, and what this means is that this is our unique reference in the table. So you can't have more than one record with this. So let's save this and go back into our datasheet view. If I try and put in another record, um, let's put in Gary. If I try and put that in, it's gonna say, Changes you request to table and not successful, blah, 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 duplicate index. So you can not reuse that user ID index. And it applies for if you're adding stuff in with SQL from somewhere else, or if you're trying to do it through forms, um, and just stops you from getting duplicate data. Uh, and on almost 100% of the times when you use your tables you're going to want a primary key in them because without it you're not going to have any way of referencing uh, a specific record in order to get rid of that record um, you're going to have to either get rid of them for all of something th uh, that's the same um, it's also going to become useful because as you'll see in the next tutorial we can start to link tables together um, and it can kind of make give us kind of expandable tables. Um, so if you've got any questions about primary keys, uh, just drop them in the comments below or stick them on our forum. Uh, in the next tutorial, I'll show you how you link your tables together kind of using your uh, unique references. So thanks for listening, and I hope to catch you in the next tutorial.